Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing some Graves Jungle, a follow-on from the previous two videos showcasing what I think the best builds are on this patch and also how I'm going about playing Graves in each different elo bracket on this patch. Today's video we'll be playing uh, about mid gold. This account is a previous plat account and Emma Marsh will be about gold 2, gold 1, if not a little bit higher. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going about playing on this account at the moment and what I think you guys should do to get the best results. As always guys, if you do have any questions about anything that I do in the game, builds, plays, you don't feel like I explained something well enough or you didn't quite understand it, feel free to just leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer that for you guys. It's uh, my pleasure to help you guys improve, that's why I make the videos. So I'm definitely happy to answer any questions you guys have. I'm gonna be starting red buff this game, going red raptors and then the bot gank will be the next play we look for. Just gonna make sure to pull the raptor camp to where we're going so that we minimize that travel time. Very, very important guys. You can really cut down on your clear times by just pulling the camps a little bit better. And another tip, I didn't actually do it there as a mistake that I just made, but you wanna always look for the auto, the auto auto. Whenever you're playing graves so that you get the maximum amount of auto attacks on your clear and thus the maximum amount of damage. I'm actually just gonna go back and hit this. Now, the reason why I'm doing that and I don't mind to just go back is because I'm not actually going to be able to get a gank off here regardless. My teammates have pushed in quite heavily here, which is fine. Um, I actually expected that they probably wouldn't. I don't think Jin, um, my experience in low ranks, you know, does very well in laning. So I thought he'd probably lose that pressure and the uh, AOE shape of boxes and things like that would probably get the lead to be pushing. Anyway, so that wasn't available this game, sadly. So we're pivoting straight away, going towards our top side and getting the clear. I would have liked to have got a bot gank in though. On the flip side, um, my other lanes all went unexpectedly. I didn't expect Fizz to be um, getting the kind of play he got off there. I didn't watch his lane super well, but I thought he killed that guy a little bit sooner than I expected. I don't know how my bot has died now. Why? Odd, in my opinion. Anyway, all is good. Quickly gonna kill this blue buff. We do see the poppy here, and I don't really know if I want to contest him or not. Okay. I don't want to bait this since I have the fizz in river. Still in here. Oh my god, I played that fucking horrifically. Also, what? GP had Ignite still? Ah. Uh, I don't know, pretty big mistakes there by me. I'm a little bit uh, surprised at the outcome of this game thus far. A lot of things happening that I would not have predicted. What? The fuck? going on here no I'll help scout push then I guess Excellent. Actually, there might be a crab here that I can quickly take. What the fuck? That Shen is committing way too much time there. Um, yeah, Shen is kind of trolling, I think, guys. I mean, I don't think it's like actively trolling as in trying to lose the game, but I think that the play he made there is extremely bad and is uh, costing him a lot. The reason I swept before is because I thought Shaco would go a different way.
Jacob's alive? Ah, uh, what is this game, man? What the fuck is going on here? thing in the world. I'm gonna quickly shove this wave. Slow pushing to them anyway. By shoving it I should be resetting the wave a little bit more. Uh, let me grab that. All right nice. I'm gonna go Raptors into red here, guys, and then I might look for a bot lane play slash dragon play. Not entirely sure yet on which one I want to look for. Yeah, I've said this a couple times already in this game, but um, it's not going as planned, guys, but I think it's very winnable still. I'm not actually worried about losing, but I am worried that my performance hasn't been like very optimal in terms of uh, demonstration worthy quality. Anyway, we're not the biggest deal. Nice. When do we have the next Shin W coming up? Let's get on. There's the Shaker. Not six yet, so we should be pretty chill. Nice. Excellent stuff. Alright, I'll quickly dip down here, take my Krugs, then reset, guys. Nice play to get off, getting Shen's ult's quite big, and also we still end up killing the Kog'Maw too. So, really nothing to complain about there. Would love to get an extra 100 gold though. Okay, Shen went bot. I'm gonna overstay here guys a little bit, I wanna see if I can get some, a little bit more gold. I wanna see, maybe if we can kill this Poppy, this looks like it could be a play. Okay. All right, never mind. Okay. Nice. Excellent stuff there. Shen, uh, Taunt Flash. All right, game's going a little bit more how I would expect it to go. It's crazy to me they're calling JG Gap. You know, a lot of arguments could be made for um, their JG Gap forming me this game. Thus far. Anyway, we're quickly going to go to our top side here and probably do our three top side camps into Herald. I actually think that Poppy's going to be topside taking his um, red buff here. Also, guys, for build this game, I'm probably going to go Prowler's Claw and then Black Cleaver and then um, Armor Pen Item again. I'm not entirely sure, though. We'll obviously adapt the build as we go along in the game. Looking pretty good so far though. We're definitely back in a position of uh, power in this game. I'm really happy about. Gonna keep my stacks up there. My volley, but oh, he's dead now. Actually, that trolling cost him, didn't that? An ally has been slain. 
believe this guy's raptors are up. Let me just check. They're not, but I like this play. What the hell? Ulti? Nice. All right, I want to see what we can do here mid. No fizz ult, so it's probably going to be pretty hard play. What the hell? How to play was that for my teammate? That's a bit better. Nice. Jump over the wall here. We'll take our two bots at camps. Oh, actually, we're going to run straight bot since there's a uh, dive threat there. So if we run straight bot here, we can protect from the dive and also the poppy. Yep, he's uh, running me down. I think it's a pretty uh, risky play by the poppy, though, to make there. Any E in the bush, maybe? Okay. Somehow he didn't get, uh, you know, rooted. Not sure. I think that I lose my red hit for this whole play. You know, in all honesty though, I thought we could probably kill the uh, Kog'Maw. I think I should have pinged a little bit better to maybe tell my Jin what I wanted to do. I think that wasn't the uh, the best from me. Yeah, we do see him. He's got the red. You know, maybe honestly I should have just pinged that too. Because I kind of expected that he might be taking my red. I'm going to wrap around here. That was the real one, really? Oh my goodness, what is this, brother? No ult? Okay. Oh, I hate it so much. What? I'm sad. I don't know, man. I don't know. I still want to upload this one to be honest. Uh, out of me, let's chunk this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I think I still want to upload this one. Not the best performance from me, but uh, it goes to show that, like, you know, you're not going to play every game super clean, but still, you should be able to win the games um, so long as you're playing like decently. You know, fish that. Nice. Excellent. I want to go down here to the GP, personally. Oh, whatever. Damn. Would have been really good if we could have prevented him from dying. Probably the uh, major thing we want to do there. Now, my red's not up, so I'm just going to quickly... Duck in here, take the drag. I think uh, Poppy's blue is up, but I just don't think it's really that worth taking. Alright. Poppy's topside, so we don't mind taking this stuff, guys. 
It's uh, actually the best thing for us to do here. We want to punish the poppy as much as possible. Quickly kite up here. This is completely fine. Ah, oh, that Q was bad though. Ah, but if I just didn't fuck up that Q, I just kill him with these. Um, wow, shit, that Kogmo is kind of fed. Not bad, not bad. He's uh, spent a lot of time like free farming, so that's really good for him. I think here probably gonna want to. Start building. I think Black Cleaver. Yeah, I think I desire Black Cleaver here a little bit more. Seventeen minutes thirty. I'm actually gonna run straight towards my blue buff and then also Harold. I can take the Herald off the map. That kind of denies them the three hundred gold from Harold, and then also denies them the ability to. You know, utilize the herald um for some kind of play after I might be losing my red here again though to the uh poppy which you know not something i really want to happen but at the same time not the worst thing in the world okay i might actually have to come mid here just prevent this i am seen on a ward there Uh, whatever. I don't know. I don't really seem to get a great invade. Oh, sorry, a great engage. Quickly take out this herald. It's not even going to. Wow, that Kog'Maw is packing a punch. He's uh, got a little bit of damage going on. All right, that's fine. I want to uh, take my base here. I want to get some items that are going to do with this Kog'Maw a little bit better. Definitely quite strong, this guy. I'm going to miss this cannon, unfortunately. Mm. Ah, yes. Ah, I hate the way I played that. Oh, pain. He's not going to kill. I think he's actually going to get killed more than likely. Not nice. Yep. I thought that would be the case. Nice. Oh, well. Excellent stuff from the pike. Um, a little bit unfortunate there at the end, but all is pretty chill. Ogmore is still free farming. This is the big uh, factor of this game that's going to potentially come back to bite us. Ogmore is doing a really, really good job of using his teammates to his advantage and uh, getting a really, really good farm off whilst we're busy doing other things. And as Kogmore, a scaling champion, 
Yeah, this is probably the best case scenario for him. Alright, I'm gonna duck over this wall, take drag. Now I think Hogmo is probably going to dip down to the red top lane, so I'm going to quickly see what I can do bot with this push. I have the Herald to use. Nice. Love my teammates to push more mid. Be a little bit careful. Hogmo coming along. Alright, there it is. Joking. And I just needed to hit that. Anyway, it's my bad mechanical misplay. That's all. My anyway, teammates should not fight this, so I just want to ping them back. This uh, moves to be a bonus skill to play their own king. Quite nice there. Not nice. He's dead. Oh, my teammates win this now. Yeah, huge. Ah, uh, Shaker's probably on top of that chin, I would have thought. Oh, apparently not. Oh. Definitely not the gin play I would have looked for there, but turns out that works, so... Who am I to complain? I think I want to do a drag, honestly. I just do this solo. I don't know. I haven't tried solo drag that shield bow in a while. With shield bow, it's super easy in a situation like this. But I think this one's going to be a little bit harder. Anyway, once I have eight stacks, which I've got now, definitely makes it a bit easier. Should be able to take this. Definitely solo would have been hard, but duo, quite easy. Quite a nice play though for us to get off whilst our teammates are fighting mid. So I'm pretty happy with that. Won't lie. I could have had some uh, some friends there, but that's all good. Uh, don't really know about this statement from him. Uh, I'm pretty healthy is the issue. Um, how much health does this guy have? 2,800 or 2,700? It's not really going to help too much, is it? 100 extra damage. I mean, it'll help definitely as the game goes later, but um, right this second, it's not that great. Couldn't imagine Shen's much more. We've got Serelda here though. Definitely, um, it's like the choice here between LDR, Serelda, etc. It's like a pretty good choice. The reason I actually opted for this was uh, 
due to this item of shins trying to get that otherwise i don't really think they have that much healing right now um that i'd really need it for and without that item from shen i would have gone sorel to scratch here Excellent stuff there, guys. I think this is GG here. I don't think GP is going to come and uh, do much. Also, guys, this is a really, really good example of why you should never give up. Um, this game was, like, not going that well for us. We could have probably given up. But also then, like, see what GP has done. He's basically griefed the game. Um, and that's going to happen a lot in low elo games. So, guys, quickly just going to show you guys the runes, what the runes did this game. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video if you did make sure to chuck a like on the video and subscribe if you've not yet done so helps you see more of these videos in the future and also helps me out knowing what to make more content on so it shows uh sub three that's not super important though uh as it says back gold three to plat four mmr here this was the damage done quite a lot of damage out of us especially after such a terrible start you wouldn't think that we would probably come out looking like maybe the mvp of the game from the way it started but we did in fact Here's what the runes did. Um, standard rune page I've been taking pretty much all the time. The only thing you can really change in this build is your last stand. That can go to cut down and it can also go to coup de grace or coup de gras, however it's said, don't particularly know. Um, and then you can also change out the sudden impact and eyeball collection for things like gathering storm absolute focus. Or you could go inspiration and go say something like magical footwear and cosmic insight or uh, futures market is also another thing that some people do. I don't particularly recommend uh, any of those things. I think that most of the time I'm going to go Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection for that early game snowballing. But guys, it all depends on your play style and also the team comp that you're playing in and versing. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys like the content, appreciate the like and subscribe. Otherwise, good luck on your climb, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Peace out.